Hey there again, hope you're doing well. I've written the most helpful Amazon reviews for some of the latest and most premium Bluetooth earphones, including Apple AirPods 3, Sony WF 1000 XM4, and Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro. But as a recognized Amazon Vine reviewer, Sennheiser hasn't offered me their most highly anticipated wireless earphones in years, no pun intended, the Momentum 2 Wireless 3 with a review. Now, why is that? Well, I focus the channel on high quality, high value audio technology and well-being, which in a nutshell is bang for buck, or sound per pound in the case of audio. And the TW3 is retailing at well over £200. Now don't get me wrong, I love my Sennheiser CX400BT and it's very natural sound. I rotate it with my IPX4 rated Sony WF XB700, which has a more artificial V-shaped sound, but it's also exciting and spacious with deep bass and forward female vocals, and between them I have everything I personally need for sound quality and practicality in Bluetooth wireless earphones. But let's do a quick review of the specs of the new Sennheiser Momentum. In a nutshell, it offers a fancy high-res codec, longer battery life, more secure fit, improved ANC, and better call quality in noisy environments. Now, I suspect that the codec will make little to no difference to sound quality and much less of a difference than the basics like tuning and amplifier components. The longer battery life is great since there have been times when I've wanted more than the four hours of my CX400. However, if that means that they've gone for weaker magnets and a lower current amplifier that doesn't push and pull the driver so strongly, then we'll lose that wonderfully realistic sound of the CX400 and it will be a sound quality downgrade. Now fit is one area where the TW3 may be a step up with the TW2, especially if you wear them while exercising. However, fit alone may not be enough since the IP rating would also have to improve to make them practical to deal with sweat and rain. And sealing the sound producing components typically adversely affects sound quality. So is that a trade-off a hi-fi audio manufacturer would want to make? And of course, we'll expect the ANC to be worked off, both the noise cancelling and transparency but none of the clever triggering features of the Samsung or Sony are mentioned where transparency starts if you or someone else starts talking, for example. And while the microphone quality may improve in noisy environments, the previous generation wasn't exactly poor. Now, I don't use earphone ANC, and unless there's some very significant difference from the CX400, I can't imagine the TW3 being worth over twice the price, even if you have no other wireless buds, and the full package of capabilities just happens to marry up with your particular use case. Now, one area where perhaps with a change of owner to Sonova, Sennheiser has been a bit slow is pre-release to the influencers and sponsored deals, something that brands like Anchor are world class at. Now, if that means that more of the purchase price goes into the product, then I'm all for that. Though it's a balancing act. If they don't sell enough units, consumers won't benefit from economies of scale. The reputation of Sennheiser may be enough to carry them this time, but we'll have to see. Whatever, mine's ordered with my own money and arriving later this month. So subscribe if you want to see whether any of these predictions come true when I post my recordings of how they sound. For now though, thanks as always for watching and to my subscribers, take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.